If you have pain in your shoulder or a pinched nerve in your shoulder, I've got three simple exercises that you can do while you're seated that are fantastic to help loosen up the shoulder joint, the deep ligaments and tissues inside your shoulders to help free up that pinched nerve and help decrease your pain. Hey, I'm Coach Todd here with Feel Good Life. If you enjoy learning about natural techniques to help you live with freer and more pain-free joints, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Also hit that bell, and make sure that you're alerted every time we release a new video. But in this video, I've got three simple exercises that you can do for shoulder impingement pain. And there's two objects that you need. Uh, the first is a TheraBand. It can be, uh, really, you wanna use the lightest uh, resistance that you can because um, the exercise is although it's simple it you don't want to use a heavy resistance so the next thing is some type of weight now we live travel in an RV we actually don't have weights um, but we do have diced tomatoes and I just found this in the in the cabinet so uh, you can use some type of canned good it really it doesn't really matter um, something that's maybe three to four pounds really anywhere from between one and eight depending on um, you know, your strength level, but this is probably about, uh, well, I guess this is one, one pound. Um, so that's perfectly fine. So, all right, so let's go, let's start with the first exercise. The exercise is called shoulder distractions. And what this does is it helps to distract. This means pull away from. So it helps to create a little bit more space inside your shoulder socket to help release the nerves, uh, deep inside the shoulder. So you want to sit at the edge of your couch or your bed and say I've got a pinched nerve in my right shoulder. I'm gonna grab the diced tomatoes uh, or weight with my right hand and you wanna lean forward. So just kind of uh, your butt is, is, uh, is on your chair and you lean forward with a straight back. My left arm is supporting my body. And the key to this exercise is to um, not control the movement, but it's kind of a swinging motion. So let me show this to you. So all you're gonna be doing is circles one direction and circles the other direction. So you release and relax your shoulder. So you don't tighten it up, you relax it. And all you're doing is gentle swings. So really it should feel like there's a slight tug on your shoulder. You're just doing circles. Now, so the, so the key point that people do this exercise incorrectly is they control the movement. They do circles like this. So you don't want to do that. And if there's a slight difference, but you want to try to swing and just allow your arm to hang. So yes, I'm using a little bit of arm strength to do this, but I'm not controlling the movement like this. So if you're going kind of at a steady pace, that might be indication that you're controlling the movement. So you just want to swing and you'll, you'll tell the difference. If you're controlling the movement, you're not going to really feel that tug and pull inside your shoulder. If you relax your shoulder and just kind of let it swing, I can even use a little bit of body movement. See how my body is moving a little bit just to help swing. You can do larger circles. You might hear a little bit of a kind of a creak and a pop. That's perfectly fine. But what this do is doing is the weight uh, is pulling the humerus, so your shoulder bone, out just a little bit to create a little bit of a stretch in those in those ligaments, those deep ligaments, and go the other direction. Just like this. So you want to do at least 20, preferably 30 repetitions, one direction, and then 30, dire 30 repetitions the other direction. Okay, so that's first, again, so 30, 30, um, and you can do it on the other side, even if you don't have a pinched nerve in your shoulder on the other side, go ahead and do it. It's really good, uh, good, um, you know, exercise for both your shoulders. All right, the next exercise is called three-point raises. So you're still gonna need your weight, whether it be your diced tomatoes, canned soup, whatever. So go ahead and sit on the edge of the chair again. And again, one of the reasons why I like these exercises are you can do them really any time. You can do it while you're watching television, uh, watching a movie, you know, whatever. It doesn't really take out time from your day because you can do them while you're seated. So, so three-point raises. So uh, say you've got a pinched nerve in your right shoulder, 
grab the weight with your right hand. And so you're gonna to wanna to sit up straight, keep your shoulders down. So this is really important throughout each of the three movements. Shoulders down, you're looking straight ahead and you're gonna slowly raise your right arm up with your, your thumb pointed, uh, well really it's gonna be your hand horizontal to the floor. So if you've got a different weight, your thumb might be pointed this way, but really your palm is gonna be face down. And so you're gonna raise it up as high as you can. If you can only go here, that's fine. But you're gonna to wanna to go as high as you can without pain and without raising your shoulder up like this. So keep your shoulder down and slowly control the movement and come all the way up. If you can go up to here, that's great. If you start to feel pain, back off. And you're actually gonna to wanna to do at least 20 again preferably 30 repetitions of this. That's why you wanna use a light weight. You don't wanna use something super heavy because you're gonna fatigue that muscle out. Just like this. Again, I'm seated upright. My palm is facing down. Just like this, I'm using something light that I can use, do at least 20 to 30 repetitions. So this is the first movement. The second movement is out to the side. So you can just turn your body a little bit. And now with this movement, I'm gonna be facing, my palm is gonna be facing out to the wall in front of me. So before my palm was facing down, now my palm is facing up. And all I'm doing is coming up as high as I can. If you can go up all the way like this without raising your shoulder, that's great. But you wanna do full range of motion all the way up like this. There you go, so 30, 20 to 30 repetitions. Be conscious of your shoulder, keep your shoulder down. Your elbow's gonna be straight, just like that. Okay, and then last movement is bringing, it, bringing your arm behind. And so what I want you to do is actually want you to turn your, it's gonna be an internal rotation of your arm as far as you can. So now my palm is facing behind me and I'm keeping my shoulder down and I'm just extending my arm up. This is gonna be a lot less range of motion, that's fine. It's just your shoulder doesn't <laughs> go up any further. Go nice and slow and controlled, 20 to 30 repetitions. Just like that. Again, elbow straight, palm behind. So the first movement, palm was facing down. Second movement, palm was facing out or the wall in front of you and the last movement is the palm is facing behind you so just placing your humerus your shoulder in a different uh, position to stretch and strengthen different tendons and muscles in your shoulder again keeping so i'm looking this way because the camera's this way but you're going to want your 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 face uh, facing forward just like this Okay, so that's the second exercise you can do for shoulder impingement. The third exercise is external rotations, and that's where you're gonna need your lightweight band. Again, really important to have a lightweight band, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab it with both hands. If you have a door frame, you could use it with one hand, but um, it's perfectly fine to use uh, both hands at the same time. So keep your shoulders down, your body's gonna be upright, face, uh, eyes facing forward, and you're just gonna do an external rotation. So this is what an external rotation looks like. Your arm is just gonna be going out. Your elbows are tucked in by your sides, just like this. And you're gonna be externally rotating. So your arms aren't coming out. Your elbows are staying tucked in by your side and you're just pulling that resistance band. This is a really good exercise for strengthening the external rotators of your shoulder. So again, you go nice and slow. This one, you're not gonna to wanna to do 20 to 30 repetitions. You're gonna to wanna to do the max 10 to 15. So just go nice and slow, just like this. And that's the third exercise, external rotation. So how many times a day should you do this routine? Uh, I'd recommend at least once, preferably twice. You could do it morning and night. Um, or if you're saying you're watching a, a movie or something in the middle of the day, that's, that's perfectly fine too. But um, you wanna do it at least once a day uh, because what you're doing is you're creating more movement in that shoulder. And if you've got a pinched nerve in your shoulder or shoulder impingement and you're just resting it all the time, 
well then those muscles and tendons are atrophying. So it's getting shorter and tightening uh, around that pinched nerve. And so doing it at least once, preferably twice a day, as you're strengthening and lubricating uh, the muscles inside deep in that joint. So uh, those are my favorite exercises for a shoulder, a pinched nerve in your shoulder, shoulder impingement. Um, and one of the reasons why is because you can do them while you're seated. So again, it doesn't really take much time out of your day. So uh, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments what you thought of those exercises, if they were helpful. Again, hit that like button and that bell uh, so you're alerted when we release new videos. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to help people, especially over 50, defeat joint pain so you can live a happier and healthier life. So thanks so much again for watching. I'm Coach Todd with Feel Good Life, and I'll see you in the next video.